joined by NASA astronaut Jack Fisher. Jack spent time on the International Space Station and conducted a spacewalk while he was there. Jack, what's a spacewalk like? Holy cow, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, when you go to, on a vacation and you're looking out the window, you see trees blowing, it's, it's nice. But then you go outside and you're part of it. You feel it, you smell it. That's what being on a spacewalk is like. The only thing between you and the cosmos is a little thin visor. So whether you're looking at the Earth or the stars, it's just incredible. Well, Jack, we don't just want you to talk about how awesome your spacewalk was. We're going to do a little science here. Boom. Okay, Let's so do it. I've got a beaker full of blue water. Blue. I've got my bell jar. I'm going to put this on top. And then I've got a vacuum pump, and we're going to suck all the air out. Why don't you start that up? Let's get her Let's going. See what happens. <laughs> Wow. It's boiling. It's boiling. And go ahead and... All right, so we got a nice boil on the water. Let's see this vacuum. There we go. Nice little vacuum. Everyone's Nicely in. All done. All right, Marty, stick your finger in there. No, 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 no. I saw that boiling. I am not sticking my finger in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, that's hot. No, it's not. It's not Why hot. Why not? <laughs> okay. The temperature at which water boils depends on air pressure. Okay, we are at sea level here in Washington, D.C., or close to it. And so water <clears throat> typically boils at about 100 degrees Celsius. Jack, you grew up a little higher up. You bet. I grew up a mile high in, the, in uh, near Denver, and so our water boils at around 95 degrees. And the higher you go, the lower that temperature gets. We're at 250 miles on the space station. <laughs> so if you go outside, you don't have a space suit to protect you from the vacuum of space. Your blood boils. And that is not good for you. That's only one of many nasty things. One of happen. many. <laughs> one of many. So that's what we did here. We created a vacuum. We sucked all the air out. And this little blue beaker had a bad day. It had a really bad day. <laughs> and that's why spacesuits are so important to astronauts like Jack.